This is not too light for 30% alcohol. Welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning. I'm the master taster of whiskey.com and today we have two bottles here in my cask. The first one is the Cardu, 12 years old, and the second one is the Cardu Special Cask Reserve, which I will taste later on. So, this video is about the 12 years old of Cardu, and uh, well, it's in the price range of 30, and uh, it's 40% ABV, it's a, well, a mass seller, and it's, well, it's quite popular in southern Europe and this uh, rectangular shaped bottle um, well is very recognizable on the shelf of the bars and whenever you come to Spain uh, you will find the Cardu single malt everywhere. The, the demand for this whiskey was so high in the early 2000s that well they ran out of stocks. And then they made a, hmm, a very clever uh, move. They said, well, the Cardu distillery was formerly called Cardao distillery. So we will rename the Cardao, the distillery to Cardao, and then uh, move the Cardu not to, well, to a blended malt whiskey. So there's not enough, there hasn't been enough uh, stocks for the 12 year old. So you can add whiskey from other distilleries, but you have to be sure to have the taste quite the same. Um, and I think they did experiments with Diluane. And uh, if you change the distilling procedure, the length of the uh, hard cut, um, then you're able to mimicry the taste of Cardo. And they started, and this was a, a green label on this, calling it a blended malt or a vetted malt then. Yeah, probably. And there was a, a shitstorm, that's the right word, starting in the single malt whiskey connoisseur community. It was awful. It was a horror. And didn't take for long, and then they stopped that, and the Cardu went back to a 12-year-old single malt, but it wasn't <laughs> available in several markets any longer. So they said, we cut this, that, and that market, and we concentrate on, on those markets. So that is still there. And, uh, well, operation succeeded, patient dead. <laughs> um... Then the financial crisis kicked in in 2007 to 2008 and demand from the southern European countries uh, broke in and then there was enough Cardu 12 years old again available. And from that time on, uh, I think the Cardu 12 years old is available on most of the markets. I tasted already from the Cardu the Amber Rock, the gold reserve, the 18 year old, the 21 years old. Uh, I tasted already the 15 year old, but not in English language, I'm afraid. So there are a lot of Cardus on the market and the people like it. This one is, I think it's one of the cheapest in the moment available. Um, and let's give it a try. Unfortunately, with color, artificial color. It's here on the <clears throat> um, Cardu has generous spirit which flows from two pioneering women, Helen and Elizabeth Cumming, who co founded and built up the distillery. Well, in 1824, pioneering women. 200 years ago, when rural communities were close knit, Helen Cumming wanted neighboring distillers of the approach of revenue officials by hoisting a flag. Later, Lither Cummings' entrepreneurial drive enabled her to build a new, much larger distillery. She was also known for her act of kindness and for her hospitable home. No. 
When Elizabeth retired, she entrusted her cherished cardu to Johnny Walker and Sons. Uh, this is important. Uh, the, uh, the Cardu single malt whiskey is one of the lead malts of Johnny Walker. And as you heard uh, of the Dalwain distillery, this one is able to replace the Cardu inside the Johnny Walker if distilled properly. This, the first distillery, has become a spiritual home of Johnny Walker, while its own generous spirit echoes the character of the comings of Cardu. Cardu is a soft, smooth, space-side single malt acclaimed for its elegant style and silky texture. Finest malted barley, blah, 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 blah. pure spring water from the Manor Hills, slow traditional distilling. Oh, cash flow is important. And skilled maturation in oak all play their part in its creation. To fully savor each generous honeyed layer of rich and fruity flavor, enjoy from a balloon glass. Mm -hmm. And here is the signature of Helen Cummings. So, balloon glass, well, this has a, a coupe, a tulip shaped bowl. No smoke at all. And this is a fabricated cork, so it's uh, glued together from small particles. So there's a very, very few chance that you get a corking cork. Richly honeyed, elegant style. <clears throat> this is not too light for 40 percent alcohol. There's a resin note in it, like fresh cut pine. And behind here, a little bit of honey, sweetness. And very far behind a little oak. Yeah, and this resin flips over to a light alcohol and back to the resin. Smooth, silky, mm. with a with an edge, with a light, spicy oak edge, but it's gone already. So there had been this small kick of oakiness, and there's a little oiliness, like like grain whiskey, but it's a single malt. There's no grain in it, but it remembers me, grain whiskey. Probably a little bit of heather. But this heather is very difficult to, to describe. Sometimes it's moving over to, to herbs. Probably a few nuts. So there are no nuts in it. There are taste compounds which taste like nuts in it. Yeah. Well, 12 years is 12 years, and uh, because it may have a little color in it, uh, they might use uh, re reuse casks which give a lot of tannin and no other, no vanilla, no caramel, no wine taste, no sherry, uh, but just this oakiness. Probably they mix it in, them in. Um, but this one is a whiskey where you can't make something wrong with it's if you have to choose from from a uh, selection of unknown whiskies in a southern European bar and you find the Cardew that's the one to choose 
definitely an aged one. There is oakiness in it. It shows age. Uh, there is a, well, after you swallowed and, and waited a minute, then there is a, a balance and a well feeling. Uh, the actual nosing and tasting is not that intense, but then you get the edge of oak. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned. There's the special cask reserve waiting here on my cask. And feel free to share your thoughts in our forum on whiskey.com.